many takes as you want, of course. <laughs> I heard that we we're in a rush. <laughs> 30 minutes and that's no, no, it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. I'm joking. People don't talk about money. Is that true? Give me three simple pieces of advice to better manage my wealth. Financial literacy is critical not just for yourself, but also society. When we understand the consequences of our financial decisions, we are more likely to prepare for our life goals and to be integrated in the financial system. This not only helps us, but enables development and growth in the economy. However, not everyone gets the financial education they need. Let's change that, starting now. People who are financially literate make better choices, which contribute to their financial well-being and the efficiency of markets. The knowledge gap is large. Only 21 countries in Europe teach financial skills in schools. The other 46 leave it to caregivers who don't often have the required knowledge. One particularly underserved group in financial literacy is women. When answering financial questions, women often say, I don't know, reflecting a lack of confidence in their own financial knowledge. Let's change that. To be financially literate, focus on four cornerstones. Confidence, budgeting, saving, and investing. Here are our three simple principles for wealth management. Start early. Albert Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. The earlier you start, the more your money grows. Stay disciplined. Save regularly, even small amounts. It's the habit that counts. Diversify your savings. Spread your investments to reduce risk and increase potential returns. Remember. Start early, stay disciplined, and diversify. Financial literacy and wealth management aren't brain surgery. Anyone can do it, and we should all do it. Let's not gatekeep. Keep talking about money. You might learn a thing or two.